Chapter five is about forms of condensation precipitation. That condensation are our clouds. So as air rises, it cools and condenses. So the air rises, it gets bigger of a droplet, it cools, okay? And then you have this little water droplet in the atmosphere, and that is going to be our clouds. Now in this chapter, I have tons of photos of what the clouds look like. And when you're going through the book, you're gonna notice a couple of different pages that will be very important as you're going through those uh, pages. And you can see there's all these different types of clouds. All right, so this is the most important one right here, okay? This is the one that's in the book, and we're gonna be looking at 10 different types of clouds. So what you need to know for the test is 10 different types of clouds. And clouds are based on their form and their height. So where are they in the sky, and what do they look like? So here are 10 different types of clouds. Okay, we will start off first. We will look at, there's three types of cirrus clouds. There are two types of alto clouds. There are lower clouds as well. So there's four types of lower clouds, okay? So this is what we're gonna be looking at, the 10 different types of clouds. First cloud is starting out a high cloud. We have cirrus. Cirrus clouds, they're very high. They're over 6,000 meters or generally over 20,000 feet. So high, thin, wispy clouds. These are generally ice crystal types of clouds because they're so high up. These clouds are generally forming in locations that the temperature are roughly about 65 degrees below zero. Really, really, really cold stuff. You will not get precipitation out of a cirrus cloud. You have a cirrus, cirrostratus, cirrocumulus, okay? The difference between these clouds that we're gonna look at, stratus and cumulus are their own types of clouds as well. And then cirro is indicating that it's a high cloud. So the three cloud groupings that we'll look at, high, middle, and low. High clouds are cirrus clouds, middle clouds are alto clouds, and low clouds are stratus clouds, okay? But stratus also um, is a type of cloud as well. So we'll get to more on that in a second. So your type of high clouds are cirrus, cirrostratus, and cirrocumulus. Cirro, high, stratus. A stratus is a blanket cloud. It kind of covers the entire sky with this kind of thin layer of clouds. A cumulus cloud looks like little cotton balls, okay? They're little individual um, balls of clouds per se, and they can occur in all different levels of the atmosphere. So high, thin, wispy, feather-like clouds, okay, cirrus clouds, cirrostratus, high, thin, like a blanket cloud that will cover the whole sky, and a high little cotton ball type of cloud, that would be cirrocumulus. And they generally occur over 20,000 feet or 6,000 meters. So they're very high up, over 6,000 meters. If you have some sort of moisture, it could be a, a cirrus cloud. A middle cloud is signified as alto. Okay, alto will tell us it's a middle cloud. Middle clouds generally occur between 2,000 and 6,000 meters or about 6,500 feet to 2, uh, 20,000 feet. So alto stratus is a middle cloud that kind of looks like a blanket. Alto cumulus is a middle cloud that looks like these little cotton balls. Nimbo stratus, notice that this one is dark and gray. Okay, these are the low clouds. So the lower the clouds, the more saturation you have lower to the ground, higher relative humidity. If you have low clouds, that usually means your, your ground level is saturated and there's a potential of precipitation, rain, sleet, snow, so forth and so on. So a nimbo stratus cloud is a low, dark cloud, okay, that is kind of like a blanket. So when we're looking at this, Nimbo is another word for gray. And the gray low cloud, this is our best chance of steady precipitation, whether it's snow or whether it's rain, okay? So those are the things that we're looking at. Nimbo stratus, a low, dark gray cloud with precipitation. As opposed to a stratus, it's a low cloud that kind of covers most of the sky, a little bit of a blanket here, okay? 
So that's one of the things that we'll uh, be looking at as we look at some of these clouds. Let's see if I can zoom back out here. So it's a low, dark uh, cloud. There we go. And stratus, you can see how it kind of stretches out. Notice all the stratus ones stretch out. So stratus are, are generally blanket clouds that they'll cover most of the sky, okay? Nimbostratus is really the one that if you're looking for any sort of precipitation, this is the cloud you're looking for, the Nimbostratus cloud. It's dark, it's gray. You can potentially have rainfall or snowfall all day long. Stratus is a little bit more whiter, but it covers the entire sky. So the stratus clouds are blanket clouds, but it's also a low cloud. Stratocumulus, strato, low cloud, cumulus, little different cotton balls, okay? So those are the clouds that we're gonna be looking at. And then we have one of our bigger clouds, okay? That's our cumulonimbus. Over here, we have cumulus and cumulonimbus. Cumulus clouds are clouds of vertical development. What does that mean? They rise up in the atmosphere. They continue to rise. So a cumulus cloud can turn into a cumulonimbus cloud. A cumulonimbus cloud is a thunderstorm cloud. So that's the, the clouds that we'll be uh, looking at. So this is where cumulonimbus, it's gonna be dark, it's gonna be gray, and there's precipitation in there. So one of the things you'll notice when you look at clouds, when you're out on Long Island or wherever you're gonna be, the darker the cloud, the better chance you have of precipitation. The darkness of the clouds are the big raindrops that are reflecting the sunshine, okay? So it, it appears the dark, uh, the, makes the cloud dark, which means there's a lot more water in it. The whiter the cloud, the less moisture there is in the cloud, like a cirrus cloud, the, it's very, they're very white, okay? They're more crystal-like, but the darker the clouds, the better chance you have some sort of precipitation. Nimbostratus could be rain or snow, depending on what time of the year. Cumulonimbus, thunderstorms, heavy rain, could be heavy snow in the winter during a major storm. That's where you have your thunder and lightning. So cumulus and cumulonimbus clouds are vertical clouds. They extend upward. So these are the 10 clouds that you need to look at. You have cirrus, cirrostratus, cirrocumulus. Those are high clouds. Altostratus, altocumulus. Those are middle clouds. Nimbostratus, stratus, stratocumulus, cumulus, and technically cumulonimbus, it is a low cloud that extends upward, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five technically low clouds, okay? So these are your 10 cloud types, low, middle, and high. So clouds are based on their form and their height. And you can see the form and height. Look at the different shapes, look at the different locations in the atmosphere they are. So cumulus clouds, they'll start out as low, kind of white clouds, and then they'll start to build, okay? And then if there's enough energy, they will build into cumulonimbus clouds. Cumulonimbus clouds could go as high as 70,000 feet when there's tornadoes in Oklahoma and Texas, when there's a lot of heat and energy in the summer, they can build to around 70,000 feet. Our strongest thunderstorms around Long Island are generally around 25 to 30,000 feet in the summer. Not enough as much energy here as there is in Texas and Oklahoma and Mississippi and Kansas, so forth and so on. So these are the 10 types of clouds, and there's, there's numerous um, cloud photos and charts. And you can see on the bottom, cirrus, what they are, stratus, cumulus, clouds of vertical development, those are our cumulus and our cumulonimbus clouds. So for the test, you need to know the 10 types of clouds. They're based on form and height. What do they look like? What's their shape? Where are they located? Okay. Nimbostratus is the one where we have our best chance of precipitation. Cirrus clouds, you're not going to get rainfall or snowfall. They're too high. They're too thin. They're generally of crystals, so you're not going to get um, a lot of ice, so you're not going to get any precipitation. And then in the winter, when it's cold enough, okay, your low clouds will have a saturated atmosphere, and your nimbostratus will bring us snowfall. Okay. So make sure you go over to different cloud types. There's a lot of different uh, examples, uh, PowerPoint presentations. So basically you have rising air, it's cooling and condensing, you get a cloud. The lifting condensation level, the LCL from chapter four, the LCL will tell us the base of the clouds. So if your LCL is around 2000 meters, 
that's an alto stratus cloud or alto cumulus cloud. Okay. If your LCL is at 1,000 meters, you have some sort of low cloud, nimbostratus, stratus, stratocumulus, cumulus, or even a cumulonimbus. If your LCL, okay, is 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 meters, that means the low level is not saturated, so you have high clouds, cirrus, cirrostratus, and cirrocumulus. So understanding that lifting condensation level. Lifting, air cools and expands, condensation, clouds forming, saturation, okay? So understanding where the clouds are forming. So there's a lot of different examples here, uh, a lot of different PowerPoint presentations of what you wanna take a look at. Um, we're gonna be looking at, again, 10 types of clouds. And look at the diagrams in the book of when you're going over uh, the different types of clouds. So I have a couple of different examples. For example, here, A, B, C, D, F. So you can kind of take a guess at what they are. E is cumulonimbus. B are, you can see over here, cumulus clouds. D are those low clouds, kind of gray cumulus. F, that's our nimbostratus. That's our best chance of seeing rainfall. And again, Stratus clouds, one, it's a low cloud, and two, it's the form of it is a blanket cloud. So you could have a zero stratus, okay? Alto stratus, middle cloud that looks like blankets. So again, 10 different types of clouds. So I just wanted to do a little video on those clouds, and you can see cumulonimbus is a vertical cloud development that can go up as high as 70,000 feet. That's where you have the heaviest rain, strongest winds, thunder, and lightning. Nimbo stratus is your best all day long, steady precipitation, whether it's rain or whether it's snow. All right, so this is uh, quickly just chapter five. I'll do another video on precipitation. So understanding to get clouds, you need rising air. Remember that from chapter four. You need air to rise, cool and expand to get to its dew point, to get condensation. At the lifting condensation level, that's the cloud level. And once you know the lifting condensation level, you can get an idea, do you have a low, a middle, or a high cloud? And then we'll talk about precipitation. So make sure you look at precipitation as we go through. And again, clouds, what's falling from those clouds? Is it rain, snow, or sleet? And we'll talk about hail, the difference between hail and sleet, and how do we measure that, which would be Doppler radar. So this is part one of chapter five, condensation, which is clouds, precipitation, rain, snow, sleet, and hail. So I'm Professor Hoffman. Uh, this is uh, part one of chapter five, talking about clouds. And again, 10 different types of clouds you need to know for the exams. And in the book, uh, around page 130, uh, you'll see some diagrams. Uh, I'll get you those pages and post those um, on some charts of more details about the clouds. And you definitely need to read that as well.